angle A plus the measurement of angle D, which is the 45 degrees. Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In today's video, we will talk about properties of parallelogram. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is are the properties of parallelogram, pero ang focus na natin are two properties. First, we have the opposite sides that are congruent, and then the consecutive angles being supplementary. Let's focus first on opposite sides are congruent. In a parallelogram, guys, the two opposite sides that are parallel are also congruent. So, we can say that we are given here parallelogram A, B, C, and D. Given this figure, we can say that side AB is congruent to side CD. So, this is your AB. And this is your CD. Sir, why are they congruent? Because this one is a parallelogram. Automatically, the opposite sides are congruent. We have here side AD. This is your side AD. And that is congruent to its opposite side, which is side BC. Now, in this problem, we have already the value of AB, which is 9. Now, the question here is that what is now? the length of side DC. If they are congruent, automatically, your DC is equal to 9 units. Okay, this, is what, this one is also 9 units. Now, what about BC? As for BC, since that is parallel, this is parallel to side AD, this one is also 6 units. Okay? Now, let's have this example naman. So we are good with opposite sides that are congruent. Now let's go with the second property. Consecutive angles are supplementary. So what do you mean by supplementary? Pag sinabi natin supplementary, these are, these are two angles. Now when we add them, their sum is equal to 180 degrees. Here, we have two sets of supplementary angles with, with regards to angle D. There are two angles that are consecutive with angle D. First, this angle D is consecutive with angle A. Since they are consecutive, we could say that the angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees because they are supplementary. Now, another pair or another angle that's consecutive and supplementary with angle D is angle C. So we can create an equation like angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. What is the reason? Because they are consecutive, therefore, these two angles, their sum is equal to 180 degrees. Now let's figure out what is the value of angle A. For the angle A, to solve that, all you need to do, to do is to copy this one. We have angle A plus the measurement of angle D, which is the 45 degrees, is equal to 180 degrees. Next, we will transpose 45 degrees here to solve it. We have your angle A is equal to 180 degrees minus 45 degrees. And as you can see, solving, solving these angles, 180 degrees minus 145 degrees, this one is definitely 135 degrees. Degrees. So the measurement of this angle is 135 degrees, as well as this problem. Here, what we have here is this. We have angle C plus angle D. This is 40, a copy angle C plus 45 degrees. It's equal to 108 degrees. And same solution, your angle C is equal to 135 degrees. And this is the answer for... The missing angles of this parallelogram. But that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video. And kung meron kayong tanong, you can watch these videos kasi um, ito yung ibang mga discussion natin about the properties of parallelogram. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gorn. Maraming maraming salamat. 
Bye-bye.